Half of Bay High School. I'm Jessa and this is the Cougar Campus News. Are you interested in environmental issues? The AP Environmental Science Information Session will be held today at lunch in room K5. Cougars, are you still undecided about your electives for next year? Here's a special announcement from F the FFA about their program. Have you taken this year? I have taken Ag Bio this year. Uh, you know, it's a pretty good class and you know, you learn a lot. Awesome. Would you recommend Ag and why? Uh, I do recommend Ag because you know, you learn about learn a lot about the animals, the culture, and you just have fun around with the teachers and friends. You know, you make a lot of new people uh, friends uh, when you go to like state conferences. Let's go. I'm here with Coral. And uh, what Ag classes have you taken? Ag Earth. And would you recommend Ag and why? Uh, yeah, I would recommend Ag because it's really fun and you can hang out with a lot of animals and go on field trips. Awesome, thank you. I'm here with Violet. What Ag classes have you taken? Um, I took Ag Bio last year and this year I'm enrolled in Agrochemistry. Uh, why would you recommend Ag to the students? Um, I would recommend Ag to students because it is way more hands-on learning than the regular science and because it also offers FFA, which when you're enrolled in an ag class, you are also enrolled in that, and that is a leadership organization that is based around agriculture. I'm here with FFA President Jesse Alves. Um, how many ag classes have you taken? I've taken four ag classes. I've taken uh, ag bio, ag chemistry, advanced ag, and this year I'm taking ag communications and leadership. And why would you recommend ag? Uh, I recommend ag because you do a lot more teamwork. You do a lot more outside stuff. You're doing leadership skills, teamwork bonding, you go to a lot of social events, and it's more, you get the science aspect of it, but it's more like social too. Hey Cougars, do you want to take your Spanish to the next level? Then you should take AP Spanish Language and Culture next year. AP Spanish Language and Culture is a college level Spanish course and you get a grade boost and also if you pass the AP exam you can have a seal of biliteracy on your diploma. In AP Spanish we work on a lot of group projects like videos and research. Right now we're working on a project about school programs in Latin America. The amount of homework is manageable and it's more engaging than other AP classes. Just remember not to break the very important rule. No English. If you do choose to take the class, remember to email Senor Gomez for the summer homework. And don't worry, it's not too bad. Hey Cougars! So guess what? We changed your deadline for the course request to next Friday, February 9th, by after school. Attention all members of Epsky. Please join us today for a very short meeting at lunch in Ms. Rolson's room K11 for a check-in about tomorrow's swag giveaway. That's right, Googers. If you come to the gym right before the girls' varsity basketball game tomorrow night, you can get one of these cool Babyscapes hoodies. And for free. Now, here's a special announcement about the Say Yes to a Prom Dress event coming up next Friday. I really want to go to prom, but these dresses are so expensive. Well, you are in luck. The Environmental Club is partnering with Say Yes to a Prom Dress on February 9th, a Super Friday, from 1 to 4 p.m. There will be 200 prom dresses in the MU for students to try on and take home for free. If you would like to donate a dress to this event, you can scan the QR code to see the drop-off locations. Who's running this event? That's a good question. We need parent volunteers to help set up before the event, help out during the event, and help clean up after. If your parent is interested, have them scan the QR code. Oh. Hey seniors, I'm here to pitch that you all send your baby photos to your book. Seniors, sending your baby photos to yearbook. It would be okay with me if you sent some baby pictures to the yearbook. Seniors, don't forget to turn in your baby photos to the yearbook. Send baby photos to yearbook. Send baby photos to yearbook. Send baby photos to yearbook.
Send your baby photos to your book. Seniors, send in your baby photos to your book. Send your baby photos to your book. Send baby photos to your book. Send baby pictures to the yearbook. Send baby pictures to your book. Send baby photos to your book. Send baby photos to your book. Please send your baby photos to your book. They love it very much. Hello Cougars! Welcome back to the Real Life Learning Community Board. I wanted to come back here today to remind you to keep coming back. Why? Many nonprofits send us flyers advertising volunteer opportunities. For example, um, Friends of Fitzgerald Marine Reserve, they are looking for seal sitters. Our environmental club right here on campus needs volunteers. This is an opportunity you could do on campus. We also have community farm days that are happening at Heal. That's on a regular basis, second Saturday of the month. And Friday Night Live, they're always looking for more students to, to join their club. Most importantly, I want to remind you to not forget about this QR code. Why? Because there are so many more volunteer opportunities when you scan that QR code. And I update it all the time. So keep coming back to the board to check out what's available and keep scanning the QR code. All right, Cougars, get out there, have some fun, try something new. Despite the pouring rain and the flooded field, the varsity boys soccer team played the league leading Aragon Dons, outmatching them the entire game to end in a 0-0 tie. Outstanding play from freshman keeper Julio Garcia, who made several saves in crucial moments of the game. Defensive standouts were Joel Delgado, Asher Harris, Carlos Ortega, and Jack McMillan in his varsity debut. The JV boys lost a hard-fought battle 2-1. The Cougars' goal was scored by Jose Figueroa, and goalkeepers Kiwi Meza and Lucas Slusher played well in the tough weather conditions. <laughs> The answer to our trivia question from this past Tuesday, comedian John Candy, who was spotted in the stands by 49ers quarterback Joe Montana when the Niners defeated the Bengals way back in Super Bowl 23. We offer our congratulations to Ms. Lundstrop and her advisory period. They were the fastest to answer. And a shout out to Mr. Carey and his advisory period, the second fastest to respond. Now today we have a question about the city of San Francisco, in particular tourist attractions in the city by the bay. Watch your email for the question from me. Stay dry out there and have a tremendous Thursday. Happy Bay High School.